For the random brightness of three LEDs project, we need obviously three LEDs and one resistor for each of these LEDs. But first we need to get our Arduino board and then place our LEDs to the breadboard. I'm going to place the first one somewhere here. The second LED, I'm going to place it here. And my third one here. And for my resistor, I'm just going to place it to the negative side of my LED and connect it to the power rail, one of the power rails. And I'm gonna do the same thing to the second LED and for the third one. It is important to have three resistors for the three LEDs. So one resistor for each of the LED. And then uh, since the three LEDs are now connected through the power rail, we will now connect one jumper wire to the ground pin of the Arduino. For the positive sides of the LEDs, the first one will connect it to digital pin 6, which is a PWM pin. So for this project to work, we need to connect the LEDs to uh, a PWM pin or a pulse width modulation pin. And for the Arduino Uno, the PWM pins are 3, 5, 6, 9, 10, and 11. Okay, for the second LED, I'm, connect, I'm just going to connect it to digital pin 5. Like so. And lastly, for my LED number 3, I'm, I will connect it to digital pin 3. That's it. This is how my breadboard circuit will look like. Okay, for the code of this project, what we need here are three random values. One random value for each of the three LEDs. So that we can give our LEDs a separate value of brightness every time the code is run. Uh, so let's say we have for the first LED the random value uh, will be coming from a variable named random led val1 no specific uh, number yet to be assigned since anyway in the loop function uh, we'll be assigning random values this uh, should be for our first LED for the second LED let's give it another random value uh, from a variable named random led val2 and also for led number three random led val3 okay next would be the digital pins where the leds are connected to for our uh, first led is connected to digital pin 3. Let's just give it a variable name of LED pin 1 assigned to pin 3. And then the second LED should be LED pin 2 assigned to pin 5. And the third one should be LED pin 3 assigned to pin 6. Those are the variables we need for uh, this project next for the setup again we need to set the lead pins as output pins so to do that we'll just type in pin mode and then the lead pins next would be again to get a random seed so that each time the uh, this code will be run um, Arduino will be using a different seed to generate the uh, a set of random numbers 
and we can get a random seed from a random value such as a pin that is not connected to anything so the function for that one is random seed and then um, the seed we will be getting will be from analog pin 0 and we just have to make sure that nothing's connected to analog pin 0 so that it will give us a floating value which could be any value from 0 to 1023 so again every time the code is run the void setup runs once and it gets a uh, a random value coming from uh, analog pin 0 which should not be connected to anything again this the values that we get here are uh, our ranges from 0 to 1023 since it's an analog pin okay now we already have a random seed let's go to the loop so the first thing we need to do the first things we need to do is to assign random numbers to each of these random variables so a random value for that variable another random value for that one and another random value for that so I'm just gonna go ahead and type in the first variable and the value for that one should be random the random function and then starting with zero and then the last number or the maximum number should be 255 but again based on the syntax we should write it as 256 and then Arduino will subtract one from that and then the second variable okay now we have the random values we just need to use these values in our analog write function so once an LED is connected to a PWM pin we can give that pin uh, a PWM value ranging from 0 to 255 and not just 1 and 0 so these numbers 0 to 255 will determine the brightness of the LED wherein 0 means totally off and then 255 means uh, maximum brightness and then the numbers in between indicates the uh, brightness level brightness level of the LED so for the first LED, type in analog right, LED pin 1, and then the random uh, variable assigned to LED pin 1, which is random LED val 1. So when this statement is run, the variable random LED val will be replaced by the actual number given by the random function so just do the same for the two other LEDs and finally we give it a delay uh, I like to give it a hundred millisecond delay so that we can see the actual output uh, the we can observe the change in brightness for 100 milliseconds so that's the last statement we have inside our uh, in our loop function so what it means is that it goes back again to the first statement in our code which is random led val 1 equal to random 0 2 5 6 so after 100 milliseconds the value the values of these variables will change and will be applied to the leds so every 100 milliseconds we see different levels of brightness for our three leds and lastly we need to upload this to our arduino board first let's check if we get the correct board arduino uno and the port which is connected to com4 and upload okay it's done uploading <laughs>